Hey, it's Monica B, creator of HeyMonicaB.com, a blooming resource on Ayurveda and author of In Your Elements, a blooming Ayurveda guide to creating your best life. I help people understand and practice Ayurveda so that they can bring it into their lives daily and create a better life for themselves. So I had a question from one of you and you sent me a note and you said, hey, I'm trying to make breakfast easy and so I'm trying not to eat yogurt um, so is non-dairy yogurt okay to eat? She was a pitta kapha. And I read the note. Um, in Ayurveda, yogurt is not beneficial to anybody. It is too sour and heating for um, pitta. It is too sour and cloggy and heavy and cold for kapha. And the same thing goes for vata. It's just too darn cold for their digestion. Um, and it, it's, it, it's a heavy thing to try and digest, so it can clog channels. It's just not the best thing for our digestion. So she knew that, which is why she was asking the question. And so I wrote back to her, I said, why is it so important that you have yogurt at all for breakfast? Like, I'm just curious, no judging, but why, why are you choosing that? And she's like, I don't really know. Because I said, in my opinion, if it's non-dairy yogurt, that means somebody did something to the yogurt to make it non-dairy, which means that it's further away from nature than, um, than it should be. There's lots of different foods out there. Just because you can't have the yogurt doesn't mean you got to get like a yogurt substitute. And I said, here's where my brain is going. Because if it's a non-dairy yogurt, what's that? It's not even yogurt. I don't know where they made that. I don't know what they put in that. So my lesson to her was like, you know what? Just find a different food. But scrap the yogurt stuff and the non-dairy yogurt stuff all together and just make a new choice. You know, so she kind of came up with some ideas. She's like, well, sometimes I put an almond butter on apple. I'm like, that's great. Um, what about like an English muffin? Uh, what about maybe even a, a crunchy rice cake is very good for, for kapha with a little bit of, you know, perhaps nut butter on it or, or something, or just a little sprinkle of cinnamon on it with some apples on the side, baked apples in pears. I said, I don't know what kind of time you have. I said, what even about a packet of oatmeal that you could just take and leave at your desk at work? Any of those things would be better for you than this, than yogurt or a fake yogurt, because what happens is we get far away from nature. When we start to alter foods that kind of look like another food, but it's not really another food, but it's like a swap. So even uh, I had a, a client of mine who wanted to not eat so much bread. She didn't want to eat any gluten. She's like, it just doesn't serve me and I feel better without it. It's great. And what I loved about, about her is she's like, I, I just, I don't substitute with like gluten-free stuff. She's like, I'll just have like rice or I'll have corn. Or like, you know what I mean? There's different things that you can choose um, besides that one food that you're trying to stay away from and just turning that into a substitute. So um, I hope this helps you. Like when you're reading online articles um, on health foods, make sure that they really are just foods that you can, that you know what it is, it comes from a tree or it comes from the ground or it comes from somewhere that you, you understand the source of it. Because if not, it's still manufactured, it's still made in a lab, it's altered to be something else than its original state, and we don't digest those foods very well, and they don't turn into high quality tissues. So when you can, if there's something that you're gonna avoid and stay away from, cool, just find some other options, but don't make a fakey version of that food. You're gonna serve yourself so much better when you stay close to nature, which is our home of the great five elements, face air, fire, water, earth, it's in the foods, it's in nature, and that is in us within the dosha. So I hope this helps you. Uh, as always, we're going to keep bringing Ayurveda to life. Hey, if you enjoyed and learned something from that last video, like it and share it with your friends. I've also got a book called In Your Element. So for anybody that's thinking like, how can I bring more of this Ayurveda into my life? How can I make it really make sense for me? This is it. It's even a workbook. So I teach Ayurveda from the ground up. You'll get basic foundation. You'll figure out what foods are best for you, how to improve your digestion, how to have optimal energy every single day, how to feel better in your body. Do you know 90% of our diet and lifestyle is what can cure our imbalances. This book's got everything in it. So go ahead and check it out on Amazon. I'm so excited to teach you as we keep bringing Ayurveda to life.